Hey everybody, this is Dan DeLuca coming to you from my home office in Eugene, Oregon. And today I'm going to be talking about a uh, quarterly review. And so this is actually going to be three videos in a little series. And it's on what to do at the end of a quarter or at the end of some period of time where you've been doing some stuff. A uh, quarterly review is really good. That gets you in the habit of doing this four times a year, you can really see what you're up to, where you've been, where you're going, and make adjustments along the way so that by the end of that year, you uh, you get there. So uh, the first thing to do is uh, to reflect on the previous quarter and look at what results have you produced. Compare them with the goals that you set for yourself. How did you do? Pull your goals out. You got your goals written down, right? If you don't, Write your goals down because that's what we're going to do next is we're going to write our new set of goals and we're going to adjust any goals we have for the longer term and we're going to set, set down on paper with a pencil or a pen on paper and a notebook. I'm not talking about a computer. I'm talking about actually writing, getting your hand and writing. And the act of writing actually helps your neurology, your brain, get that in there. So it's actually, uh, it's important. It makes a difference if you write it down. Don't just type it. No typing in the computer. You can type it if you want and put it on a sheet of paper and print it. But uh, I want you to write it down on paper with a pen or pencil. So reflect. Look at your goals. How did you do? Make any updates. Um, write down the new ones on paper, like I just said. And then you want to, uh, you know, consider making goals uh, shorter term than say a quarter, maybe weekly, monthly, and then quarterly. Uh, you could also have daily goals like you're going to contact 10 people a day and you could uh, write that down and then track it. Got to track it. Otherwise, you don't know what, what's going on. And then um, I want you to celebrate like celebrate like yay this is what i did all right that was a little goofy okay part two is um check your mindset and get yourself uh maybe a couple books or audios on mindset and start reading them this is about not just um not just uh, reflecting and setting goals, but uh, this is like the spring cleaning because right now it is spring. I don't know when you're watching it, but right now it's spring here. So uh, mindset. Here's a really good one if you don't have it. It's the Miracle Morning. I don't know if that's right way up or not. But anyway, uh, it's a great book by Hal Elrod. Hal Elrod. Read it and uh, start to incorporate some or all of that Miracle Morning stuff. Get your mindset refocused for the next quarter. Um, I want you to evaluate your daily schedule. So actually, so here's what I recommend is you get a, uh, like a weekly schedule or use Google calendars, which is what I do. And every day block out time for, you know, your business, for lead generation, for um, me, uh, content creation, for checking your analytics once a week, for all the things you regularly do or the things you should do regularly but you don't do, put a block of time in that calendar and then set it for to have a reminder so that it goes off when it's time to do that. And include in there, and actually this is the first thing I recommend you put in your calendar, is the free time for you. Put in free time for you, otherwise you're going to just go, you're going to get burned out. Put that in first and then everything else, work that around it. If you got family stuff you got to do, put that in first. If you're the person making dinner, put that in first. If you're the person walking the dog, put that in first because dog is man's best friend. They really deserve a walk and everything else can revolve around that. I'm just being a little bit facetious. I used to have a dog and that's how that would kind of work. Anyway, create specific time frames for your daily activities and then follow that plan. And then finally, for this episode, stop playing with your social media. Focus on your social media. If you're using social media, great. Again, block out time to do specific social media tasks, whether it's prospecting, promoting, uh, it could be part of the creating your social media content. 
um, but block it out and then quit scrolling around and liking every other thing that you see and getting lost in it. Or even better, give yourself 15 minutes every in, in the morning and 15 minutes at night to just mindlessly scroll through Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all the stuff that you do. Like, do it and then boom, done. Okay, that's it. So, a uh, couple other things. If you like what you're hearing here, I have a newsletter that comes out almost daily and it's got great mindset tips and marketing tips and blogging tips. Subscribe to it. Go to dandeluca.com slash newsletter and sign up for that newsletter. There will be a link in the in this post somewhere. Also, this is part one of three parts. So look for part two and part three coming up soon. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a blast and I'll see you at the top.